Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and it's Saturday so I'm back with another slasher review as part of the Horror Man's Slash Back Slasher Challenge series. And this week's theme is Italian Slashers. So we could either review a traditional Italian Slasher or a Giallo. I've decided to go with a traditional Slasher for this week's review and I'm going to be reviewing Stage Fright. Now a quick rundown of the story in case you guys haven't seen this one. It centers around a group of dancers and they're basically rehearsing for a theater production, a play or a stage production, and they're locked inside this old theater. Now there's a killer on the loose, picking off the group one by one, and they're trapped inside with no escape basically. So. Yeah, that's essentially the plot and the storyline to this one. Now we'll move on to my thoughts. It had been quite a while since I'd seen this movie actually, and I've always really, really enjoyed this. It's definitely been one of um, the better late 80s slashes in my opinion. So, always been pretty fond of this one, but yeah, it had been a while since I'd seen it. So, this was a really, really good revisit, rewatch, and obviously still thought the movie was absolutely fantastic. So first of all we'll talk a little bit about the location. So the location, this movie is pretty much set entirely in this um, old theatre which I think is a really really awesome location for a slasher. I've mentioned it before but I am a big fan of slasher movies that are sort of centred in one particular location and building and yeah the old theater is a fantastic location for this particular slasher it's kind of eerie it's kind of creepy and it has pretty good atmosphere so yeah i love the location within this film and there's just something about a group of people being trapped in a building that i think works really really well for a slasher movie so yeah fantastic location I really really enjoy the cast of characters in this one. There's not really a bad character in this. Pretty standard slash affair in terms of the acting and the characters, but yeah, they're all really really good. I quite like the killer in this one. He's kind of a little bit on the comical side, especially with his outfit, but I think the outfit works. And I like the fact that the mask that he wears is very very unique to this movie. There's not a, another slasher uh, character out there that I can think of that really wears this particular mask so I really really liked that a lot and the mask kind of gets a little bit more creepy as the movie goes on because it gets blood on it, it gets a little bit more dirty and ragged looking and I really really like that aspect too so yeah, the mask, while a little bit comical and definitely not to be taken too seriously, I quite like it. It is something pretty different. The kills are fantastic. Um, I've mentioned this several times before when it comes to slasher movies. I love blood and gore and I love variety when it comes to the kills and this movie definitely caters for that. There's some fantastic kills, there's some great gore and blood, and there's good variety. There's a lot of different weapons used. There's a drill, chainsaw, axe, um, pickaxe. Yeah, a lot of different kills, which is fantastic. And this one has a pretty high body count too. The other thing that I really, really like about this movie that I definitely have to mention before I wrap this review up is one scene in particular um, it's towards the end of the film where the killer basically displays all the dead victims on the stage I think that is a really really awesome touch and it definitely fits into this movie's theme and such an awesome scene really really well done and it looks fantastic um, yeah definitely one of my favorite parts of this movie for sure. So that's pretty much my review for Stage Fright. Definitely one of my personal favorites from the late 80s. Really really enjoy this one a lot. As I said the mask is kind of unique and I like the mask. The kills are really really good. It has a high body count and I really really like the um, 
location and the theatre works really, really well too. So, yeah, all in all, fantastic slasher. Really, really highly recommend this one a lot if you haven't seen it already. So, that's been my review. If you've seen Stage Fright, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you haven't, like I said before, I definitely highly recommend it. So there you go, guys. That has been my review for this week's Slashback Challenge. Until next Saturday, when I'll be back with another Slasher review. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.